part lesson broadcast from Los Angeles. Weather is slightly warm today. And it's uh, very distracting because it's uh, makes everything uh, every uh, tourist attraction or every uh, place to go do something uh, seem like uh, more fun with this weather. Traffic here is uh, crazy, but what I'm working on here is a uh, biomechanical piece, biomechanical slash demonic piece, tattoo design, tattoo design, or is it just art? I don't even think I should say uh, tattoo design anymore because I've seen so many, I'm pretty sure you have two, so many paintings that have been tattooed, so many, um, even just basic corporate logos tattooed on bodies. And uh, I know I used, I used the word art a lot or artistic and There's always a um, story that goes along with that as to when and where to use those words. But So much to create, so much. I think lately I've been having uh, trouble sleeping because because um, there are these drawing videos that I make, and I still draw more while I'm while they're uploading. Ideas. So many ideas, it's like my mind gets a little bit distracted at times. It wants to go here and there. I guess I give this guy like some sort of uh, metal pieces along the neck. Some sort of medical, medical, metallic. It's got three faces, three? Yeah, three faces on. brains possibly. Why did I draw that? I don't know. Just patterns that I see when I, when I sketch out in somewhat random uh, 
pattern. Sometimes, because I also, when I sketch stuff like this, I also wonder like, what, what the face of artificial intelligence look like. Because there's, uh, as mankind works on that, uh, unpredictable, unpredictable technology, I think eventually it'll have a, uh, I think if it has something that's consciousness, it would uh, probably want to uh, manifest itself in uh, some sort of physical form. Would it be male, female, or genderless, or would it just identify as a, as a machine or something non reproductive I think another Another important, important um, reason to sketch is it's almost uh, like a, like a way of uh, thinking freely, but you're not doing it with uh, possible not clear words or even clear thoughts. You know, the, you know, we look at the cell phone today. Pretty sure someone in the past just wanted to make a sound be heard along a uh, string attached to two empty tomato cans. But, but when someone sees something that's advanced or new, then I think someone else can be like, man, you know what? What if we do this? What if that was real? What if that gives, that gives me an idea? can't think of um, which uh, inventions exactly have been uh, influenced by by things that have already been invented but took something else in a whole other uh, step forward so create sketch draw um, man, especially if, if you can't sleep um, sometimes I can't sleep sometimes I weird because I don't think it's the coffee at times I feel restless and, and I look at my old drawings and I add to a sketch or post on um, DeviantArt or write a letter to a friend there's always if you have that energy or that things like a gut feeling to, to do something you know do it don't just uh, sit there This is my, that's my name on Facebook if you want to add me or follow me on there. There was a phone I lost. I had a lot of my ideas for sketches. And luckily, I uh, had a... Um, an old phone that saved all my emails and I would email my stuff to, to me. And, uh, interesting. Some of them were silly thoughts. But I think that's the cool thing about um, just having a curious mind, the ideas keep on coming out and a lot of stuff that I there's still certain things that I don't even have to write down because I um, 
it still shapes a part of an idea in me. watching some uh, going on YouTube you get to see so many forms of entertainment or education educational videos of stupidity or greatness and uh, I like clicking on both to feel uh, to improve or to feel lucky I saw a video where a guy was discussing how as a child someone told him that he couldn't do something, that he wouldn't be good at it, so he believed that throughout his life and for a while until he tested it himself and found out otherwise. And if you're looking at this video out of either curiosity or trying to learn or you're a growing artist, yeah, that's, uh, well, thanks for clicking, thanks for watching. And I'm going to share with you my frustration at times that I, I get. Because drawing technique is one thing, but the mind is, I think, the, the superior tool here. Because it's the mind that's doing this technique, but the reason I'm able to, to draw this stuff, I feel, is because I, I choose to. I choose to practice. I choose to um, go over hundreds and hundreds of sheets of, uh, of sketches, of drawing, throwing them away, of uh, picking up books, of uh, telling my friends, hey dog, um, no, not tonight, man, I don't want to go out tonight. Um, we'll shoot pool some other day and stay home and draw. Or uh, watch drawing videos, pick up a comic book, uh, read a novel or read a uh, most likely reading nonfiction but if you read a book called uh, say Bravo 20 by Andy McNabb you'll see man you're gonna find out how strong you are to see how much a human being could do it's, a, it's an SAS soldier wrote that book but I think when you read stories like that or when I read stories like that um, or the greatest um, special forces stories ever told and you read about uh, guys that trekked uh, thousands of miles across deserts on uh, complete missions that were near impossible and, uh, and succeeding you know, ask yourself that you know look even you, know, you for a moment you doubt that you can create something like this or something better than this no don't 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 think that don't think that I'm, I'm nothing special here don't doubt yourself. It's a mental, mental distraction. Just keep on drawing it. It will, you'll grow. You will grow. Nothing to do except to go forward and practice.